I called a guy about working on an old stereo amp for me and he started telling me about this machine he has that is an old vinyl record cutting machine. In other words, this would uh, put the groove or in, in the vinyl or put the sound in the groove or however that works. And I got down there and asked him about it and I didn't have my camera with me. I had my phone in the truck and I ran and grabbed it and uh, before I could get it switched over to video he had already started talking about this machine but I found it very very interesting and uh, maybe you will too. It's a real short video clip but I'll just uh, let you listen to him talk about it. Uh, kind of an interesting old piece vintage electronics and this is your playback tone arm Let's put a different stylus on it so that one plays the yeah, and this is your amplifiers here yeah tube and amp it has an AM radio okay it also records wow wow plug in two microphones yeah and so you got stereo yeah uh, so it cuts the vinyl on this table yeah on this side okay so you put and a blank you, on there and this cuts it yeah and, and then you can play it back, back with that side, one yeah. <laughs> yeah wow it all it fits also, in a case you can just plug in here and use this as a PA system sure yeah oh, that's interesting I forgot what this was oh this is the turn on for this yeah yeah it's turn the table on it's got a tougher motor than uh, most of them that uh -huh. I've been into this sure. one uh, I guess it needed more horsepower to be able to uh, turn while it's uh, cutting grooves. Uh huh. But uh -huh. the power takeoff uh, comes underneath there, a worm gear that comes out like this. Yeah. And um, let's see, I, th I think it goes back this way. I think that's where it's going. And, and um, it drives this tone arm inward. Hmm. There's a, and a, did, did a little you, piece underneath there, then it sits right in the groove of this worm gear. Mm -hmm. It took us a while to figure out, what the <laughs> hell, why would you want to take off, you know, we're yeah. on this underside. Yeah. And uh, I don't know, maybe we should lube it up anyway, so we put uh, silicone grease on it and oil the thing here. Where, yeah. But then... Uh, uh, when we flipped it over, Kyle says, "Oh, I know what that is. It's it is a power takeoff. It's the takeoff that brings the drives arm, that in arm over like yeah. a lathe." Yeah. Did yeah. you did did you get any blank vinyl with it? No, I don't. Didn't have any blank vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if this part. Right. Works. I know this part works. Yeah. Huh. And the motor itself. Well, I've that. never seen one. That's my first time to see one. Oh. The other That's thing. That's where is, the needles. Yeah, these yeah. are the, the yeah. needles. Uh, there's some more of them. I've got needles like that because I've got the old wind-up Victrola. You got one of those too? Well, a, a, a Does portable the one. work? Yeah, this table model. This, yeah, it's a little suitcase like this, only small. Oh, oh, okay. It holds a crank in there and you take it out and put it in and wind it we up. We had the floor model in here. Yeah, no, this is a little, little table model. My folks had it when I was a kid. I take it out and play it for my kids and tell them that's my iPod, what I had for an iPod. Oh, I guess I get it.